Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Cultivate wisdom. This is a great card. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you come, become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 11, Nasdaq's down 20, S&Ps are up 2, gold. Gold contract trading up $11.20 at 2018 an ounce. You get silver up 19 cents, $25.28 25, an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat, $80.83 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, trading up three ticks at 114.15. The 30-year up eight ticks at 130 flat. And good old King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading down 379 ticks at 101.724. The Euro is at 109. The Yen is at 134. And the British Pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. We'll get right into the futures. And we just did that update in the futures. You can see it popped right out of that deal. There's not enough sellers out here uh, for lower price, folks, at this particular time. You can see what you have here. So you, you, and, and, so you have a consolidation at the top. That's what's going on here. Right off the bat this morning, they sell it right down, and they sell it down with volume. And you can see the last, the highest volume buy, though, is at that 4175. That's where the battles are going to take place. That's, that's the reality. So you sell down to that. They got to lower price. They rejected the lower price, okay? Then we get down to that 4164. Rejected that. Bottom line comes up. And let's just see what kind of retracement we did here. Tell, look at this, I love it. You did a 50% retracement intraday, and this is the this is the one I really want you to watch. So, the, the bar that happened 10 minutes ago, folks, like if you just looked at that bar, you'd say, oh man, this thing's gonna get smoked. Well, what you have to do with time in the trade, you have to remember what it's going into. Well, it was coming into 86,000 contracts, and you only did 35. That's now how breakdown happens. And you can see we didn't even get to the low. Bottom line, now you flip on the other side of it. I suspect we're just going to flip around here. What is happening, you know, unfortunately for all us traders, <laughs> is that the volatility is calming down a bit, which, you know, it is what it is. But that's, that's what we have happening up here. So the movements aren't as big as we've been used to, you know, the last five or six months. I suspect, you know, these things will start up again. But right now, you know, you got to play smaller moves that that's the reality we go into the nqs we take a look at the nqs what do we have with the nqs out here the nqs right now you're going to see the same type of play out here yeah see it so the nqs what you got here your, your big bar came down to this uh 18,000 uh what is that 223 that had 76,000 contracts we get underneath that or 11. That's saying it's going to be right to the top of the range coming into the close. That's how that shakes out. So, and it, what is it going to be about? Well, it's going to be about this good old dollar. I suspect what we have here is this. Let's go, let's go over this because when I was away Friday, I want to thank Jacob for doing all my shows too. Did a great job. Thank everyone for pitching in here. So when we take a look at this, what you're going to see is that Thursday and Friday, what's the, yeah, Thursday, yeah, Thursday and Friday, we were going after, the, the place to keep your eye on, folks, is the strength where we came off the last um, low. So the last low in the dollar was that 100.82. We come off that and you go from, you get up to one, 103. Now the low of that is the 101,546. Well, you can see what ended up happening. We got down to the 103. 100.788, but yet rejected that. You get higher yesterday, slightly. Today is just a backing and filling, man. That's all this is. This looks to me like you're gonna get a small bounce. And, you know, 
What you can do is if you got a 0.382, let's see how this shakes out. Okay, so a 0.382 gets you to 102,700, a 0.50 gets you to 103,316. Uh, I suspect that's what we're gonna get. It's weak, man, it's weak. And if we get that, what, we'll get over to the gold contract. Would you have gold, gold's, gold's always tricky, folks, okay? Gold's in a confirmed ABC structure up. That's a 2154. That being said, bottom line, I expect what you're gonna see here, just do the opposite. We go this way and say, okay, what's a 0.382? A 0.382 is 1973, right? So you can get there in a heartbeat. On the pullback, if the dollar goes there, gold's gonna go down there, That then all that does is put it, while well, it's in another complex ABC structure on the way up anyway. What that means is that you get over the B, you had the volume, you pull back, you pull back with light volume, we get over it again, we get volume again, you pull back again with lighter volume. Um, they're making it a little bit tough in there. That's the bottom line. We go over to the GDX and we take a look at the GDX. What you're also going to see is the same type of setup. The GDX might have just set up a, a small ABC down. It's not, it's not a big one, but the GDX today got to 35.19. You're at 34. You know, anything inside this uh, 33.34, it's going to be the same type of setup. You know, I suspect you're going to you're back and fill. You get, you'll pull down. You'll have some light volume. Just frustrating, you know, the, basically all of us in the metal business. But that's what, that's what gold does. That's, that's the reality. And what that's going to be about is that when we take a look, it, that's just a, it's about a counter trend bounce inside of the dollar. That's what it's about. And, and if the dollar does that small counter trend bounce, that's, build, that's just building cause for lower price. That's, that's how this sets up. You know, if we take a look at the note and bond market, note and bond market still want higher price. You know, it, it was pushing into the low of yesterday today, and you're pushing into that area, and you do have lighter volume. So, um, you know, bottom line is that that's, uh, that's what, you know, I see happening out here. So the next few days, uh, today we almost got the test inside of the SPY, missed it by a few. It's, it wants to test that uh, higher level. Dow Industrials right now, 14, NASDAQ's down 14, S&Ps are up three and a half. Stay right there, folks. Come back when I'm at Mr. Battlefield Chapman.